afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda here of Psych, Defender of the Fatherland. We're off here to an exciting one versus one on Arnim Checkpoint. Between the south, we got here, Wolfja, fighting here for the Upper Command of West Germany, Deutschland. Taking, in the taking on the role here of the 11th SS Panzer Grenadier Division, Nordland. Versus in the north, we got Lövnes, fighting here for the Soviet Union. Socialism and the Third Guards Mechanized Corps here with Guard Motor Soviet Industry and Parts and Tactics versus Scavenge Fortifications and Luftwaffe Ground Force with a double infantry sniper and double f infantry and one Sturm Pioneer build there for a bullet for Wolf rushing heads here, bit of barbed wire, cool bang following up there for his initial push. And he's also not, by the way, going very aggressively here towards uh, sort of the, what you'd call, you know, the northern players half of the map there. Again, he's going for the cough points and the fuel points. He's going in very aggressively. He's hoping to disrupt Loveness early game and use, of course, the cool bang and then sort of grab territory in the meanwhile. Definitely not a bad idea, though, of course, it is a bit risky. But again, thanks to the cool bang, you can kind of do this stuff because the cool bang does have a higher rate of capture. Then other units, plus of course it moves faster, I mean you can more quickly just sort of grab territory there while again you're working to disrupt. Attempt there some barbed wire forced to pull off there in this case though. But got the cough on there, dug in with some full kind of this, falling back a bit further for reasons that are a bit unclear to me. Going there as well. We got more forces arriving there for Wolf for Loveness. We got here Maxim following up there on the conscript, so there's gonna be a heavy support weapon build there, possibly versus Wolf and the Oba Command. Rest there, go Kansas State for the church here, threatening him with troops. Seems enough again, he's falling back from there. So one has to wonder why he went for the sandbags. I guess it's just for future harassment around there, but he did not sort of try to stick around to it. It ends up feeling a bit weird here what Wolf is doing. It's sort of a bit contradictory again. It sets up here, but then immediately falls back and doesn't, you know, you know, try to build on it. And meanwhile, even the Sturm Pines here to fight on their own and actually taking several casualties here from the conscript. So Wolf start ultimately falls a bit into a bit of a muddle there versus Loveness here in the early moments of the game, which is less good. We got more folks going on the way there. Though. Second squad moving out with the third one on the way. We got more conscripts for Loveness. Looks like he's just going to go for a few support weapons for his conscripts. He's not going to go, you know, into full maximum spam like some people like to do. You know who you are. You make me sick. Anyways, cool down there, grabbing the eastern point here. And point there secured as well. More reinforcements. Try on the way, this so is going to be taking up pretty rapidly. Versus Loveness, we got folks there, back and forth through the restaurant there as the max blasts away, unleashing numerous bullets. In this case, we should probably just consider not engaging this instead, trying to play around, go behind Loveness lines, you know, harass, cut them off, force them to have down in the center to react to this. Meanwhile, a bit of movement here in the west, Indian is being caught here, both rushing for the house here. The folks should be able to make it first there, and there we go. Engineers pushed away. Point there being seized, Fox is just standing about there, and it uh, looks like he's sort of planning to move around the centre, but at the same time, keeping one infantry squad, they just sort of, I think, keep his opponent occupied a bit, they try to time down. Another push here for the fuel point, Wolf doing what he can to slow down uh, Loveness resource income, definitely not a bad idea. Kuvang moving south us, again trying to push up north us, again have Rass. Second maximum up there though for Loveness, going for the fuel point there. He could probably consider some sandbags right about here to further make it a bit easier for him to defend the point while harassing it. Nice joining in the Kuvang here again, just trying to capture more territory. Strion Pass moving up, Fulcher sneaky about here. Good trying again to sort of further move up there, and I imagine there'll be a battle with headquarters here for Wolf. He could go for the Mechanized Regiment, but. Uh, Seems less than likely. Being attacked here by Maxim from South Sides. Kuban almost knocked up. We got the Stupas moving up here as well. Fox being suppressed in the process. Almost got the fuel point there. Fox is standing about. Of course, there's too much going on here, so he's not quite paying attention. Kanskip taking quite a few losses. The Stupas Pine is blasting away. Morg moving up. And there we go. Back in action. Kuban needs to move back to the base and wait for some Stupas Pine to arrive to repair. We got the Fox back in the west moving up. And we got, I believe, ooh, well, that might, he's laying down mines in front of the entrance, Loveness, that sneaky bastard, obviously they can't, you know, wipe the entire squad like they used to, but uh, still that's going to give their wolf a bit of a surprise if he tries to pass through from the east into the town centre there, through the restaurant, nasty little trick there by Loveness, nasty. Nice to see that. We got flamethrowers up here. The engineers there go quickly gets out in the open. Might get the concert there. At least get the knees pushed away as well. And there we go. Up close, but promise with heavy cover as well. The flamethrowers get that damage bonus. Plus they're bunched up. And the thing to also keep in mind is flamethrowers are AOE weapons. 
And again, just being punched up only makes them more effective. Force they're being suppressed by the Maxim. Shion Pioneers barely get away. That was rather lucky there for Wolf. Going there for the cutoff point. Nope. Sneaking up there behind it to go for his cutoff point as well. That is a good move there by Wolf. So while he's not going to get fuel, neither is Lamness. Battle group headquarters done. Troops have been forcing. Needs to get that cool gun fixed up and back in action. No sign of Doxon though from either side. And no sign of take up here from Lamness besides that support from Campania. But there you go. Wolf makes the first move and it is Scavenge. No big surprises there. It is very much one of the still the more common overcome instructions. It partly serves as a bit of a crutch. You know, oh dear, things went wrong. I'll just, you know, call in Jaegers. Oh dear, things went wrong. I'll call in a Flak Panzer. So it's kind of like, you know, mechanized assault for the Oberkommando Vest. Except it doesn't have a Tiger tank. Third country squad there for Love Nest. Cool garden good to go again. No mines there. Have any further mines here from Loveness at all? Or is it just those flare mines right in front of there? Seems like it, but Jaeger's arriving. Sneaking in here and opening up. There you go, Maxim pushed down. No quick internal grenade there. Makes it a pretty inhospitable place to be. The restaurant in the hand continues to serve hot lead to the fascists. Almost got the Maxim there. Constantly hit though. Jaeger's firing well aimed shot there. Marksman ready to take out any Bolsheviks that look a bit too ugly. And there you go, healing reinforcement. Kuban going up westwards there, interestingly enough. I mean, he's got all the territory. The problem is it's not connected. He probably better have served off trying to connect the eastern territories. Though, of course, the Maxim there is going to make that difficult as well. Send a grenade here. And I think he hit the wrong place. Yeah, he did. He actually threw the grenade at the wrong house. <laughs> That's a bit bad, but it seems like Loveness just realized, went out anyways because, you know... A house is on fire, I guess. Grenade, or oh, mine down there from Lovenest. Jaeger's looking to fight. Four kills already. They've shown down quite well. We've got Kunz playing up here, going for the car form. We've got the Kubak Bash made some sort of flank. Nothing further here. We've just got full on these. I think no upgrades for them. And grabbing points. He's even laying down mines. He's further laying down mines at the tri tri trip flare mines. I was about to call them trap flare mines, which sounds absolutely terrible. And he's laying down more there. He's laying down more. Sneaky. Love nest. Trying to get the cough on there, but the Maxim rather throws a vengeance into that, and he can't easily deal with engineers here around the Maxim. Got another Maxim here, Fulton Shop. We got Incinerator off though, and that's a decent hit there. The problem is the Fulton Shop taking quite a bit of damage in the process. Still. He's controlling the fuel points in a way, but he's just not getting them connected himself, which is rather hampering what Wolf can do. He is going there for the Kedmer, for he's expecting Loveness at this point to be rolling out a T70, so not a bad fear to have. It looks like Loveness might finally be getting a fuel point again. He'll then actually have one connected, despite again Wolf having two of them, but he has been able to connect them. So again, there's a bit of a difference there. There you go, Maxim run off. He can then finally connect the Western fuel, plus all the resources there once he gets the point here. Of course, once he exits the restaurant, he might get a bit of a nasty surprise. And there you go. Otto suddenly finds himself with a flare going through his nostril and the rest of his skull. The troops getting ready there. Going for the cough point. Another flare mine goes off, by the way. And apparently they can actually suppress too. It's amazing. All the Basically, all the Allied mines suppress. But the German mines, which are supposed to suppress as well, uh, don't do it. Which is a bit interesting. And even the flare troop mines can suppress. I did not know that actually. Not only... Makes them better if they can also suppress. That is impressive. In a slightly worrying way. Jaeger's opening up there in the conscripts. Fox in the lot of fire. We got the maximum there. We got the conscripts flanking in. We got a push up into these tier. But there's been more mines being laid down here, I think, by Lovenish. Yes, indeed, we got two more. Trip flare mines. I mean, the fault goes ahead there. Do this suppress. I mean, might just been a fluke there with the other one, but I uh, guess we'll see. Come there, taking off from the Aegis and the Cooper Wagon. Moving over here. There we go. We got more mines around here, I think. Send new grenades. Oh, grenade assault against the Maxim. Almost wipes it. Tiny slip of health on the Maxim crew. Quickly, Sergei, you must get it out of here. It is important. Ah, oh, shit, he did. So there you go. Maxim wiped here. 
Just continue to get Teto finding over points left and right. Some intense finding in between Wolf and Love Nest. Truck moving out there quickly. Schwer Panzer's quarters here. Or is it a mechanized raid? I mean, it's rather early there. It doesn't have the fuel for that Schwer Panzer's quarters at the moment. We're finding here. T70 on the way for Love Nest. Ah, doesn't always suppress, apparently. Just seems a bit random then. Still, that is two losses just for 20 munitions. That's not exactly half bad. In particular, seeing Ultra Reels in there. Got another loss to another Trek Flare Mine. That is, you know, three men lost then for 30 munitions. Again, they're paying themselves off pretty handsomely there for Loveness. They're paying themselves off pretty damn handsomely. So, Loveness in this case certainly displaying, you know, why these things are actually pretty good. Got more Jaegers out here though for Woof and the 11th SS Panzer Grenadier Division Nordland, basically the second of the Scandinavian volunteer units, the sort of created sort of divisional size, but uh, was basically formed by making a bunch of people from the 5th SS Viking and sort of transferring them towards there. It was also surprisingly well equipped well, for a Panzer Grenadier Division, actually having, I think, each of the the regiments having a battalion of half-track troops, which was in fact extremely rare even for a panzer division. Jaeger they're taking losses by the way. Engineers taking fire there from full Grenadiers, and further on also having a panther battalion, though that would be that was a slightly more tricky story, partly involving the fact that they received a bunch of panthers in the Narva, which are meant to dig in, but they actually got them moving again. They were actually the highly unreliable Panther Model D and these ones were actually technically out of combat but somehow they managed to get them into working order and they even sort of took them all the way to Berlin to fight there. Little fun fact. We got Fulton versus Conscripts though. Bit of shooting there. We got the T-Sim rolling about here on the east side. He's only got one like Kevin to deal with this and he's only got no mines. I don't even think he's got a Panther Shrek. I mean a Panther Shrek here would help and certainly some tech would also help. But again, the way that Loveness has managed to lock down the vital cutoff points rather meant that Wolf, despite having both fuel points, couldn't get to it and also meant he couldn't actually take up reasonably fast enough. So, nice extra there by Loveness. Denying his opponent, I think, quite expertly any advantage. But he can't go for the Pantrick and the Sturm Pioneers. I do think he should go for the Pantrick. Loveness, though, has yet to go for Doctrine here versus Wolf and the 11th SS. Tsen moving about, Maxim rolling in. Engineers being pushed back, and there we go. We got the full Scandinavians on the run. And there you go, finally setting up the Schwer Panzer headquarters here. And there you go, spotted and coming under fire. If Loveness were to rush that one, that could give uh, Wolf quite a problem there. If it's forced to cancel it, because there's going to be a lot of resources then, sort of theoretically, it can go to waste. Kuba moving out to support. Shooting here and there. Healing reinforcement there, and the Kuvag just in dying repairs. Probably not going to happen anytime soon. Still not signing any upgrade for the uh, Steel Pines. Of course, Mines was all the Mines here. Obviously, we're pretty good. Just well, there we go. He just lost three Steel Pioneers to three separate Flare Mines. Actually, skip the Pantry Trick. Just get a Minesweeper, Wolf. Get a Minesweeper. It's a lot of Flare Trick Mines. Again, they're really effective. Again, you probably got more out of that than you would have gotten out of the same T-3045 mine, in which you can have like only kill two max, but again, three flare trick mines are spread out evenly, gets three kills. And anyone more or less can put those out, so I mean they're really good investment there for Love and it's really good. And obviously they do take a bit more effort to put down, but as you can see, they're clearly worth it. They're clearly worth it. Command level capabilities ready for deployment. I just need to reinforce the Sturm Pioneers and then get them the Minesweeper kit. Otherwise, I think Wolf's going to be in a lot of trouble very fast, or at least continued trouble very fast. Can't coming up, they're hitting the east again. We can see Wolf is a lot more on the defensive than he used to. Again, I mean, while he did have an advantage, he wasn't able to really consolidate it with any mines, so for that matter, using the Jaegers to lay down poop traps, allowing Loveness to more quickly push through for starters. Grenade assault here, though, pushing them out into the open, but uh, no real hits there, and we got the maximum rushing in. He then occupies the house right under Loveness' nose, but there's just a slight tiny detail of not having any anti tank weapons, and the T-20 could also push them out. Flam on the set off here by the T-70 light tank. Trap Panzer called us up. He could go for some Orbital Darden. He definitely needs to get out some armor. 
Guard at auction there from Loveness. It is Soviet industry. Relying on the might of the Soviet industry to roll down his opponents. Loveness clearly not holding back here in the East. We've got the cool bounce range to the conscripts, but oh, oh dear, they actually don't have the anti tank grenades to upgrade. That is pretty lucky there for Wolf. That could have been a lost cool wagon. Half a year, you know, they've gone to the T70. He just needs to get out of there before the T70 does wipe them. So certainly looking pretty rough. He's finally gotten the mine sweepers. All the men lost mines have rather uh, reminded Wolfie desperately needs the mine sweepers. I mean, Loveness has laid down an awful lot of mines, and he's just constantly laying down more. He's pretty consistent with just mining up the map here, which is uh, certainly nice to see. And again, he's using again the flare trip mine, which again is just so absolutely overlooked by the Soviets. But again, Loveness nice displaying. Oh, why you silly for doing so? True suppress there, bit of fighting around here. More flare trip mines going off here. More casualties piling up for Wolf and the 11th SS. Got the Jaeger setting out there. He still has some time away from armor. More mines, more casualties, more flares. And there, Golden Slot in Tanya. There's a T7 and then joints in the carnage. Quick grenade assault here. Cool bomb, up kind of five from the max. He's going straight for the car front here, and Loveness has not mined it, so that's a bit of luck. He's actually prepared ahead of time here, the repair stations, though. Even he's only got a T70, he's actually not losing a beat there to just, you know, further make things easier for himself by just finding this one, which going means he doesn't have to micromanage any more repairs. It's just get the tank there, and some chaps will take care of it. He's going here for the fuel point instead, but they've got the T70 in, and there's no support for it. He still has some time away there from any kind of armor. Could maybe try to call in a Tilly strike around here. He does, in fact. 105 minutes with howitzers laying down heavy fire there in support of the 11th SS assault onto town. Fire! Wait, what are we firing on? You know, um, stuff. Yeah, but are there any Russians there? Maybe? Oh, shite. It just wasted a lot of, wasted a lot of munitions. Yeah, I know that wasn't a very effective artillery barrage. They should again try to send it around, you know, something a bit having a harder time getting away. They've got a big push into the east, though. Jaegers versus Maxim and Conscript with some steel power support. They're going to flank them in there. That's going to be pretty good there versus the Maxim. And there we go. Lumnist eastern push there, thwarted by stout German infantry. He still has some time with it from any armor. He might go for the Yank Panther here. I mean, in a sense, I mean, Lovness is rather hit. Now, again, despite, again, Wolf having all the resources there, the fuel points, again, he wasn't able to connect them. And rather, Lovness was able to control a lot of vital points. So, I mean, there could be an argument made he should aim for the Panther rather than the Panther 4 here. But at the same time, we sort of consider the sort of what's happening on the actual battlefield. I mean, again, he's not facing a lot then. Again, he did hold the fuel points. Again, deny them to Lovness. So, in theory, I mean, he could go for the Panther 4 here. I mean, those are both options. I'm certainly not sure what I'd go for myself here. But if you sort of consider the timing wise, I mean, the Panther would probably make more sense to just wait for. We'll have to see, though. Though he should lay down some mines to get down some booby traps. And we do see some mines there from Wolf. Good. Didn't clear those mines out, and we got a lot of woods be flying away there. They're shooting here. We got full there. Could pop some grenades for the windows. Clear out stuff there. Healing reinforcement going on as Jaegers rush back and forth. Lucky folks, because he actually didn't take a single loss to the T70 there, grabbing a point despite that thing just constantly shooting away there. That was definitely a bit of luck there for Wolf. Engagement, we got Jaegers versus Conscripts, quickly coming up behind cover from behind the wooden fences. The mountain assault. Poor Dita, those stumbles over dead. But he can go for the Yuck Panzer now. But he can also soon go for the Panzer IV. He could again just wait for the Panther. They are all viable options there for Wolf in a sense. Lumnus in the end seems to be in here for the KB2. Heavy assault tank. 
which I don't really think we've seen any users by 1944-45. There weren't that many made of them in the first place. And they weren't that practical in a sense either. I mean, they were great in the early stages of the war, but promised by 1944-45, the armour, which was, I think, about 80 mm of armour, was, you know, what was the equivalent of a Panzer IV medium tank. And the Germans easily had plenty of arm armaments that could penetrate that. So, little fun fact there. Troops are suppressed, going up here, flanking the maximum. Of the, no, he doesn't have to take grenade assault, but he could pop an incendiary grenade here. We got support from up here. Maximum, they're supporting the maximum. Good job there. Mine goes off, incendiary grenade goes off, but the Volkswagen is nonetheless lose the fight in the face of the second maximum up here, hiding in the old house. And there we go. Wolf does go for the Panzer IV again. Technically, it does make sense. It's not like in the sense he's feeling probably behind, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, considering the timing, it probably just would go for the Panther. But again, looking again at the overall situation, at least from what Wolf's perspective is, Panzer IV does make sense. I mean, he's lashed up against infantry. His opponent hasn't taken that aggressively. And in theory, again, he did hold a lot of the field for quite some time. Again, the problem was just he hadn't connected. I mean, if he did have it connected, he probably could have gone easily away with the Panzer IV. But we'll have to see how that works out. Either way, though, he's going to have a bit of an arm advantage once the Panzer IV hits. We'll, of course, have to see if he can actually maintain it. Sort of looking at the situation here, damage-wise. Loveness is hurt. Kills wise though... It's very much Wolf's game, so I mean that regard is kind of looking good, and uh, well, they sort of close each other otherwise. Bit quick quick till there. Fox moving up, we got more Fletcher at mine going off again. Loveness is just laying down a bunch of them, and they generally always pay themselves off. I mean, again, 10 munitions for whatever manpower you have to expend, then replacing the unit is usually a pretty good trade. Plus, of course, reconnaissance, again, seeing what your opponent has in the area. But there you go, Panzer Fort here for Wolf. Panzerkampfwagenfeuer. Big push into the centre here with all of his Jaegers. Some of them pretty ventured actually, and soon closer to being T3 actually. Which would be pretty good for him, but he needs to deal with that T70 though. Wolf by way, oh, I mean not Wolf, but Love and with two field guns. Probably got the Panzer then gave the conscripts. Folks coming up to support, noting by the way that Wolf has yet to upgrade a single Folks gun to squad. Spending most of the munitions on grenades. Another bit, occasional on mine here as well. Constant push back, Panzer IV advances. Maximum suppressed nearby troops. He's trying to sort of shoot here, but I think what he should do is actually try to move up here and actually try to deny the retreat path for the Maximum to make it a bit hard for it to get away and increase his chance of getting it. Yeah, because there, drawing fire while the Kedma moves up. He's based, I think, use the Yeggers as bait here. The problem is he needs to draw them into the Kedma, not the opposite way around. We got their love this field because we need to try and deal with the Panzer IV. We got another repair station. No, Bob, he's actually scattered them a bit there. Max push back here with the Panzer IV. Panzer IV running great. And there we go. We got the KV2 out here for Loveness. Quite the beast again in the early stages of the war. Most German weapons could not penetrate the armor. But again, by 1944-45, most weapons would have been able to penetrate it. Little fun fact there. Mines down, Fultz is out in the open here, KV2 pursuing, and almost got the entire unit wiped there with its 152mm gun. This is where, of course, if he'd gone for a Panther, he'd be in a better position versus the KV2. I mean, he could, of course, quickly fill up with the Yak Panzer, which would have more than an easy chance of penetrating the thick armor of the KV2 there. Important they're being seized, suppressed here by the uh, Maxim note. To finding around the same but the Yakers versus the Contra. Again, another Maxim. He's got three Maxims here versus Wolf, who's got no machine guns at all. We got another Kedner there from Wolf, by the way. An interesting choice to continue as a KV2, which could easily, you know, one shot. Then we got, I think, more mines going off somewhere, more flares. Great sort they're doing a bit of a trick. Going straight for the Maxim. Bit of sort of movement here. Mind more laid down here by Wolf. And the farther land. Maxim pushed out. Got the Kiwi 2 going down. And setting up edges for further murdering. Next bit of trouble here. So KB2 set up there. That's definitely going to make it hard for him to attack into the village center and for that matter fight around it. Going here for the repair station. But there you go. KB2 lands a Delta here from quite far away as you can notice. Across the screen here, as you can notice, Panzer IV there, almost hooked up by the KB-2s. Very big shells. Double blitz there, takes a hit, but survives, obviously. German engineering.
Demo charge on the eastern victory point there by Loveness. It's only taking no chances there. Got the western fuel. And there you go, KB2 shoots. Almost hits, but in this case completely misses the mark. Accurate repairs going on. Wolf can go for the Yak Pants in a few moments, and again, I do think in this case he should go for the Yak Pants. He's going to have a better chance of actually engaging the KV-2 from a safe distance. Lord is just high rate of fire, and good penetration should overall give him the best chance of dealing with the KV-2. And we can see that Wolf, or oh, Loveness, is basically now wrecking the house as I think denying them to Wolf. Removing the places he could actually hide here from the KV-2. It seems, at least. Or he might just be sort of shooting about because he can. Look at this, Petrov! I'm destroying houses! Stop, you idiot! We need to use those! Oh, well, you know, we can rebuild them easily, right? No, you idiot! There you go, Tisa playing about with Ken, in this case, not Rachel's up, but there you go, we got the Panther forming in, gaining Veterans 1 here. Booba Traps on the victory point, great stuff there, just wish he'd gone for Booba Traps sooner. And he's actually going here for the second Panther 4, and I definitely think, you know, again, while the first Panther 4, alright, there's an argument made for it. With a KB-2 out, though, I don't think there's an argument for a second Panzer IV here. Unless you're, again, really, really good with Panzer IVs. Again, he's really should just be going either for the Panther or the Yak Panzer. just have a better chance versus the KB-2 because once he's then annihilated the KB-2, I mean, the rest is going to be a lot easier. I mean, if he gets both Panzer IVs together, you know, isolates the KB-2, just sort of assaults it. I mean, he could probably pull it off. Probably, but again... It's going to require a bit of work there. Moving up the KV-2 there. Spot is in the church. Acting essentially as artillery observers. A can have in trouble. And insta wiped here with the KV-2. Just got two Pantafors out now. He has two. One pants at east. Looks like both are heading east now, though. Definitely the right choice, considering the fact that, well, one pants was not going to have a chance because the KB2 is going to work to bear. Boop trap there, almost wraps in time. Maxim, jolly good there. But Wolf is beginning to bleed up quite severely here in the face of Love Nest, who is not quite so heavily bleeding here. More mines, C7 rushing in. KB2 also moving east, was there lumbering forwards. Do on pass court here. Schwer Panzer Force for Kenrith opening up. No shots penetrating the armored hide of the KV2. And Kenrith had twice in a row there failed to penetrate. Panzer Force trying to flank here the KV2. Another tank on nearby. Something at least managed to penetrate the armor. T70 almost down here. There we go, another penetrating hit there on the rear. And does he continue to try and flank? Looks like at least for now. Need to get the other Panzer 4 in there, but he's going for the T70. He said he got it. He got it. Get the other Panther 4 in there. There we go, almost got the KV-2, almost got it. Mine hit though, mine hit, damage engine, Scheiße. And he gets the KV-2, he gets it, kaput. KV-2 heavy tank down there for Loveness, need to pull back the Panther Force here. So the Vets 2 one would be quite a loss there for Wolf to lose. Almost got the field gun there as well, but that was definitely a good hit there for Loveness. And this, oh, for Wolf, not Loveness, so that was terrible. But again, this sort of highlights how he could actually use the Panther Force. In this case, it worked out well. I mean, he sort of used in conjunction again that way you know it can just make it harder for kb2 which does have a slow rate of fire to deal with them again singularly it was pretty close but again two of them they could just so quickly overwhelm it again one draws the fire the other one flanks just begin doing a lot of damage but love here can quickly call up another kb2 here if he wants to probably will and yes indeed second kb2 out here for the third guards mechanized court entering the stocks the depots or whatever kb2s are left both Panzer Force are pulling back for heavy repairs. Will he be ready for a second KV-2 though? We got more Jaegers in this case, appearing right behind the Maxim. There you go, KV-2 number two arriving. There you go, it's gonna ooh, completely wreck a trap, but uh, do no good there for actually killing Wolf's troops. Jaegers, Vetri Fear versus Engineers pushing them back. We got moving to the west here by the Fultz Gunners. Kind of assault rifles finally going up for some of his infantry. Finally. Only took him almost half an hour, I think. K2 
TV2 sets out. First Panzer IV good to go again. And with a second KV2, I mean, again, he could aim for Yak Panzer yes, for support and get, get a better chance of knocking it out. I mean, he could also just try and aim and murdering the infantry and just go for an Ostwind. Call that in. He could, of course, try and aim for another Panzer IV or a Panther. I mean, there are options here again for Wolf. You know, again, he should be more careful actually jumping out those Panzer IVs, and then he does know his opponents mined out quite a bit of the map. And it's not just flare trip mines, but regular TM35 mines, which again can stop the Panzer IV in its tracks. Shot bounced and the red is blurred there from the KB2 here. Troops coming under fire, suppressed, pinned even. Mine there by which you can easily hit. Both Panzer Force with the Aegis support moving in towards the centre here. And we got the Indians being pushed back. Almost crushed, Field setting up. There we go, gets a Panzer hit. That mine goes off, killing several full skin ideas. Panzer Force moving east here, catching here the Maxim. And there you go in the apple orchard there, the full skin is pushed back, repulsed by Loveness Stout Infantry. His Frontovics held the front. KB2 going down, hunting the isolated pants for which hits a mine, hits a mine. So many mines and not a lot of mines being there by Wolf. He could get to some more storm pines, the mines push for that. Panzer 4 though, could be hit with a grenade and there you go, damage engine. Right here versus the conscripts, but getting some good kills in there again. Vetri 2 does a lot there for the Panzer Force. As the overcommand vessel, of course, the Vamant one does not get, you know, increased accuracy. KV2 misses barely. Field gun misses. Hey, some incredible luck there on that Panzer Force. Incredible luck. Calling in Austin Flank Panzer here to help deal with infantry and possibly also help clear up the support which a bit easier. Field gun there being dealt with slowly. We got grenades all here in the Maxim. Steel hand granate eve. And he almost got it there. He almost got it. The lone healthy in field. His Jaegers could finish it off there before. Oh, he gets a wipe there. Marksman kills the last one. Shot right through the eye. And we got a field gonna expose. Could maybe get it with the Osman. Either steal it or destroy it. Could also, of course, salvage it. But good work there by Wolf. The camera for needs to pull back on the face of the KV2. So far, does not think there with the field gun. He's going here for the repair station. Both Panzer Force and Dyni repairs. I really think he should just go for some more Sturm Pioneers. Or he could consider now going for a mechanized regiment and upgrading that one with repair Pioneers. Grab the field gun. It's uh, late here in this case, but you know, could at least push back the KV2 a bit further. There we go, shoots but bounces. KB2 though completely fails to hit, or at least only sits right in front of the gun shield, which means the rest of the crew is safe. Gets a good hit there though, taking it down to half health, but being rushed here. A cat man for spotted and slightly being shot at. And there you go, field gun wiped. Got one of his Panzer Wars living repaired, but not the most veteran one, which is also really, really close to veteran three here. Also, dealing with the Conscripts flanking in there, flying with the 37 little flank. Almost guys, Jaegers! Yeah, killed one of his own there. No, nope. Probably did suffer some damage there and lost a Vetsen the Free Jaeger squad. He's actually suffering quite a few infantry losses there again. And losing the Vetsen the Free that was pretty bad there, since the problem on his best choice again of just swapping units. But there you go, we got a maximum in our Wolf's hand, a bit of support weaponry to help defend. Certainly a bit ghastly though, only 44 there versus uh, Wolf, who's got, well, under 400. Panzer IV, they're moving up. Veteran T1. Another Panzer IV finally being repaired. Need to get the Osman away though. Ah, oh, it's going to get knocked out by the Kedmefa. And Kaput. Quite a loss there for Wolf. Should definitely try to salvage that one a bit. And second repair station done. But the thing is, Loveness just keeps making more. They only cost a munition, so. It's not exactly difficult from just to make more, replace the ones he loses. Mine went off, more casualties, and probably for the Germans in this case, the Kedma crew suffered a loss. Veteran Panzer Falls are ready here. If we were to rush again, the Panzer Four with, or in the KB2 with both his Panzer Falls, we should have a chance there. In particular, we get the Veteran one behind the KB2, in which case, against high rate of fire to work out. Kenneth gets a Panzer hit there, Panzer 4 not dealing with it. Ah, he's focusing on the wrong unit. And the Panzer 4, the veteran one, it's not supporting. Oh dear. 
Then again, in this case, it's going to be difficult because there's a field gun covering the rear of it. Panzer 4, they're taking damage. Here we go, the Panzer 4 blitzing in. Panzer fast off, almost got it. Peter Sloan sitting up there. Ah, he's taking a lot of damage there. He's about to hit the mine, he's about to hit the mine. Oh, scheiße. Pretty bad here, and the main gun gets knocked out. He can't finish it off, and the other Panzer Force pulling back here. Oh dear, that's going to be a loss there. And the Panzer Force gets abandoned. Disastrous, Wolf here, disastrous. All collected assault here gets heavily punished by Lovnest. Heavily. In this case, again, had a field gun ready to cover the key between case he tried to rush it and flank it. So, nice work there by Lovnest. Uh, less nice there by Wolf. And again, that was his veteran D3 crew. That's going to be really hard to replace for Wolf. And in particular, in this case, it's just going to give Lovnest now an arm advantage because he's got a Panzer IV as well. Besides his KB2. In this case, Wolf's going to need a Yak Panzer or a Panther to have any chance there now. He's definitely going to need a Panzer. Yak Panzer or a Panther. Panther I think will still be the preferable choice here, but a Yak Panther could work. Instead, he ends up calling an Osman here. Now, that is definitely a strategic mistake there. That is definitely a strategic mistake here versus Love Nest. I mean, you might not be aware, of course, that this tank has been abandoned. It's just there's still a KB2 out, and a single Panther fall is not going to be that great there. It's certainly not supported by the Osman. I mean, he's going to need something with the, you know, some ability to actually threaten it, and the Osman's not going to cut that. Part. I mean, he's holding on and definitely could do with more booby traps. Got a bit of quiet here. Paying the Panzer IV. Has already crewed it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a problem here for Wolf. The KV2 supported by a Panzer IV. Definitely give uh, Wolf there quite a headache because again he's only got a single Panzer IV. I can't remember with that compared to Lovnest, who's got a lot of anti-tank support plus two tanks. One of them again being a pretty big one. Osman coming the east, West Point there being lost again. No booby traps. Panzer IV moving over the folks gonna support to flush out those Marxist bastards. Engagement here. Conscious being slowly murdered here. Panther 4 on the hunt there for the other Panther 4. KB2 nearby support as well. Positioning also going towards the center, Panther 4 joining up, and we got a KV nearby. In theory, can sort of set up a quick kill, so he might have a chance of getting the Panther 4, though the KV 2 is certainly going to be a much bigger challenge. Got Panther 4 here for the search, quickly negating any gains worth they made by the Western Victory Point there, one rush his zone, and then left foot back. Betty to the Panther 4, but taking heavy damage there, being pushed back. Osman doing what he can to cover. And Jaeger's rushed off as well there. KB2 just lobbing shells left and right as he gets up closer to Vincent T2. If we get this to Vincent T2, there might be a slight chance of hope there, but he's still going to need you know, either Yak Panzer or Panther. And certainly the Yak Panzer looking increasingly like the best choice. He don't think can afford to wait for a panther, so he's going to have to go for the Yak Panther here. Again, it's range, rate of fire penetration is going to be, I think, the key assets versus Love Nest. Panther moving up here. Kev for setting up, needs to get the panther down there. Go take hits here from the field, going up north, getting the field pump back down to less than half health here. Another field gun shoots but fails to penetrate. Panther fast off and fails to do any serious ending damage. Getting quite hectic there, more like Kedmef's form. We got the Osman here, taking fire from the KB2. Strong Pioneer's rushing ahead, Vetsin, you see there, pushing back the engineers. But 
there you go, right in front of the KB2, and they take excruciating losses as three fourths of the unit are basically slaughtered. More troops moving up, being suppressed, and taking again fire from the KB2. Need to pull back and support back. They are alongside the Osmond and the Stuart Pioneers can all work together and reinforce. Stuart Pioneers are going to fight. They need to get them out of there. Get them out of there, Wolf. Is going to need to complete massacre of Wolf's men in the center. Complete massacre. But he's a snuck pull back. The Panzer Void keeps up the fight. He can soon go for the Yak Panzer. But it's certainly not looking good here. And there you go, Pantherfall down. And the hospitals are down with that. I think it's safe to say it's GG here for Wolf. He's got no armor left. He's only got a Ken Mephus versus a KB2. And he's barely, I mean, he can soon go for the Yak Panther, but he's just alone in the victory points. But now and again, he's got nothing to try and he's briefly regain the points and stabilize things. It's just, I mean, I think it's just GG. I do not see Wolf winning this anymore. He has very much lost. Game over, man, game over. Thirteen, ten, seven, four, and one, and pretty much GG. There we go, game over, game over, lost there for Wolf again, initially brave efforts, a few mistakes here and there, but primarily the issues came down to just going for Panzer Force. You know, again, the first one, all right, that worked out. But the problem was, you know, he should have followed up with something else. And that's rather where things sort of slightly went off. And then we sort of, you know, charged in there with the Panzer IV into dangerous territory again, despite the opponent had, you know, a lot of minds down. Lost the Panzer IV. In this case, the worst case scenario, having it got abandoned, which again, you know, it might not have happened. It still would have been pretty bad there for Wolf in this case. And then he went for the Osprey, which further just sort of compounded his situation, pretty much put him in this position we could not get back because the offspring can't do anything against the kb2 and a single panzer force so they're not going to be able to do much either i mean that was really a big blunder there but there were certain some issues here for wolf here and there which rather things sort of held him back but again had he just not gone for double panzer force there he probably would have been a much better spot again either panther yak panzer there i think would have put him in a more winning and dominant position there versus love so i think oh played well and again also made really good use of the trip with a fly man so there i mean overall good work there by him, and you can sort of see again, kills wise, they're pretty close by this point. They're still with an edge there to Wolf, and damage wise, Lavner still did so much more. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, want to subscribe, tell a friend, share it with everyone. If not, send a reply of some feedback in the comment section. This is Imperial Dancing. Cheers. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all tomorrow for another exciting episode. Cheers.